Hello, my name is Michael, and I'm working on implementing a review UI for archive file types. In my last demo video, I showed how my changes allowed users to click on an archive attachment and have the server print out its contained files. Since then, I've added a few major features that let the user actually interact with the archive rather than just seeing something show up in the server console. First, I added support for tarballs rather than just zip files, so if I click on this attachment, the server will be able to correctly read and parse the tarball. You might also notice that this page isn't empty anymore like it was in the previous demo video. Using a recursive underscore template, I was able to add some still very work in progress rendering for the UI. So you can see that the archive is at the top, with each file's indentation level representing how deeply it's nested. This is implemented for both tarballs and zip files, of course. In this example, we can see that the archive is named testnestedir.zip and it's at the top. It contains a single directory named testdata, which itself contains several nested files, including another nested directory subdir. Each file has a compressed and actual size in bytes, but directories don't, so those cells are left blank. Moving on, the next major feature I implemented was the ability for users to download individual files contained in the archive. I can do this with a test image by clicking the download icon, and then I can open the picture in an image viewer. Users will be able to use this to review individual files in an archive, but I haven't yet implemented adding review comments. In the back end, when the server gets a request for a file download, it extracts that single file from the archive and tries to guess its MIME type. If it can't give a good guess of the MIME type, then it'll just default to Octet Stream. That's all for my changes since the last demo video. Thank you for watching, and I'll wrap up this project in demo video 3. See you then.